Good evening, I'm Kurt Gugsell. High school football practice will start on Monday. At Jasper, the Wildcats have seen a complete renovation of their home stadium with new bleachers, press box, concessions, and restroom facilities. Jasper Athletic Director Phil Kendall on the overhaul that was long overdue. First of all, that was the first, the one facility in Jasper that needed a major facelift. If you look at all the facilities we've yeah. got, you know, there, that one's that one was due. Uh, and it started with the new locker room facility. You know, it's top of the line now. Put home and visitors locker room on the same side, shared with our boys and girls track teams, of course, in the spring. Uh, and then what I really like is the home grandstands. You know, the old stadium used to go from goal line to goal line and only went 15 rows up. Well. You know, not too many people want to sit on the goal line and try to watch the action at the other end mm -hmm. of the stadium. So uh, one of the things that we did, the biggest thing was to condense the grandstand. We now go from, I think it's 18-yard line to 18-yard line, but doubled the height. Uh, and then plus the addition of a nice 420 chair back seats right in that kind of 50-yard line area was the biggest upgrade. Uh, the one thing you'll notice is the casual fan down there that's been going down there for 20 plus years is the, the restrooms. 50 years. <laughs> 50 years. It's the restrooms. You know, you used to go in and uh, you might see three urinals in the men's restroom or you might see three stalls in the women's restroom. And I think now, uh, I think the women's side's got 15 on the home side. The men's has got about 12 or 15 also. Uh, so expanded the restrooms and then also on that, on that visitor side, also expanded their restrooms and added concessions over there, expanded the concessions. And also the entryways, how will they be? Yeah, you know, uh, our workers won't be sitting under tents anymore. Uh, we got, you know, ticket booths on both ends. The, the one on the south end did move from kind of the southeast corner more to the southwest corner. Um, the other one kind of is about in the same spot people used to enter before. Uh, but it'll be a nice little entry pavilion to the uh, facility. And then I think what else is cool is kind of the, uh, the, the, the corridor, the grandstand, you know, underneath and kind of a, a little gathering area for people. Uh, we got concessions there. You'll see the team come out at the 50 yard line right there. It's all lit at night. So it's, it's kind of like a good congregation area. Is everything all ready for the opener? Oh, uh, Friday's the deadline, you know, so the construction company's getting there. They're wrapping things up. You know, the, the essentials are in place, you know, what you're going to need to run. I mean, hell, we ran uh, track meets in the spring, so we, we were able to get by with what we had. Uh, will there be some things landscaping wise that may need to be touched up? Probably, uh, but everything should be done in plenty of time. We don't open up until August 23rd as far as a varsity game. So we got about a month from now. And you mentioned it's been a long time coming and it's the last thing that you really had to do. And just uh, it's one of those once in a lifetime deals to get it done like you guys are doing it. Yeah, and it's one of those things. You're always going to have people that are going to complain, well, why are they spending this money on this? And why are they spending this money on that? And at the end of the day, you know, we had an open house last Thursday or two Thursdays ago, uh, I guess it was. And when people got into the stadium to see it, I think they realized that this is something that the community of Jasper can be proud of. The Wildcats will host Evansville Memorial on August 22nd. Stay tuned, we'll have more right after this.